So hey everyone, as you guys might know, the Temple of Ankarab raid is kind of just around the corner in, well, about 2-3 weeks now, also known as AQ40, and one of the bosses in here, um, called Visidus, is basically a big slimy green monster, okay, and he's extremely susceptible to all cold damage. It just so happens that in Razor Fen Down, you can get um, a really nice dagger which does frost damage so this is actually the dagger which has dropped already as you guys can see there's a chance on hit that it launches some frost damage basically so when you come in here just keep to the right hand side basically okay If you want to know where this place is on the map, right, you need to basically fly to the crossroads, or I suppose you can go to Thousand Needles, um, and then you need to come to this location here, basically, guys. Stick to the right-hand side until you come to this pretty stone, then you're going to just want to go forward and left, okay, basically. So just follow this round. So anyway, yeah, just follow this, kind of sticking to the right-hand side, until you see this nasty looking thing here we're going into razor fin downs now So hey guys, you might have noticed that it's jumped to a different video. Basically, I forgot to reset the instance, so I was running through an instance I'd already cleared, and there wasn't any boss at the end, so I thought that's a bit unrealistic, so I thought I would run through this area again. At the entrance, you may have noticed there were two paths, a left path and a right path. Now the left path is a lot longer than the right path, so you want to go right. Right's fairly simple. I think you can jump down here if you want to. I love the shadow, it's completely unrelated to where I actually am. Now this is a little micro boss that you guys may want to kill. Um, his name's Glutton and he occasionally drops some nice stuff. If you do see Mr. Glutton and you feel like it, I definitely consider taking him out. When you're almost killing him, it sort of says that he's getting hungry and stuff, so. Not ready. <laughs> Anyway, as you can see, he's dropped his cleave. He seems to um, drop his cleave a lot, and it's worth one gold twenty, so that's worth having. So this area in the centre here is basically shaped like a snail shell. So there are really two parts to this. There's the entrance tunnels, and then there's the snail shell bit, which I'm currently in. So, like I say, when you enter, guys, just stick to the right-hand side and. Try to avoid as many mobs as possible. If you're level 60, this shouldn't be too hard. But if you do pull a few mobs, it's not the end of the world. You just basically have to kill them. And I'd concentrate on getting them down as quickly as possible. Also, if there's a pointy bit, you can jump over it. So you may have noticed earlier there was a pointy bit on the wall. And also, this is pretty obvious, but if someone's looking at you, it means they're more likely to attack you. So if they're facing away from you, that's ideal really. Um, in a previous video I also mentioned the diamond flask which um, is a very good trinket and I've got my healing gear so I've been using that for the boss though I don't think that's strictly necessary and the boss like I said is in the center of this snail shell. Feel free to jump on the buildings and sort of use them to avoid mobs if you want guys also look out for treasure chests because sometimes there are treasure chests in the buildings. Like I see, I think you can do the whole thing without pulling any mobs. 
if you want to. Obviously, if you're level 59 or 58, you're going to pull a lot more than if you're level 60. This is just the end bit where you just jump up here. Okay, so that was fairly easy. This is the final boss, guys, and I'm going to put on my healing gear, right? Though, like I say, I don't think you have to. And I'm going to use my diamond flask, switch back to my regular gear. I'm just going to charge in. So he will try to freeze you guys. I'm going to... You don't need to pop anything, really. I'm going to save my reticulousness in case I need it later on. Yeah, he will try to throw you back, guys, so you may want to fight him where he stands, basically. Also, ignore the ghosties. They die when he dies, so just concentrate on killing him. And that's that, guys. What do we get? Robes of the Lich. Um, let's look at the loot. So, four silk, um, some things of the bear, and um, robes of the Lich. So, that's not what we wanted. Obviously, we wanted the icy dagger which is very nice i've already got a dagger up on my third attempt the dagger has about a 20 percent drop rate assuming your map is static you basically want to take the left way out from here so kind of a way that you came in right and you can just jump down as long as you don't pull any mobs doesn't really do any damage and now we're back to the um entrance tunnels pretty much so like i say we've already killed glutton um you may pull some mobs but you can just run them off they don't um have any slows i don't think okay so that was unlucky i'm gonna stick my shield on because i don't really care okay so i am slowed rats that wasn't ideal honestly this was the first time I actually pulled on my way out but never mind so that's the useful thing about being a warrior you've got your um, shield that can take a lot more damage so if anyone starts attacking you obviously slap your shield on and that would be very, very beneficial remember your um Remember to have something to eat. This is also very good. Um, so that's basically it, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments what you thought. And speak to you soon.